Are you, yes you, looking for a great jack of all trades LED headlamp? If you are, this might be it. Today we're going to review the Black Diamond Spot 325. And we're going to figure out and I'm going to try to answer this question. Why does this belong on so many reviewers best all around list? Is it that good? Is all of that hype worth it? Let's, pardon the pun, shed some light on this. Let's do this. <laughs> First of all, it's so good to see you guys and thank you for being here. I'm going to run through the specs real quick before we jump into my likes and dislikes about this thing. Now, the max lumen this thing can push out is like the namesake. It's at 325 lumens, which is awfully bright. The max beam distance or throw is 80 meters, which is pretty darn impressive. The runtime max at maximum brightness is 4 hours. Now, if you set it to low, the max runtime is 200 hours. 200 hours, that's pretty impressive. The weight is a svelte 86 grams, including the three AAA batteries. It only needs three. With this kind of brightness, usually you need four, but this thing runs on three AAA batteries. It's also rated at IPX8, which is, I guess, better than IPX6. And it runs $40 on Amazon. So check out, check out the link down below. I have it there. And if you want to check it out and buy it, buy it as a gift for someone or for yourself this holiday season, it'll be great. And I'm going to compare this real quick with a another couple of headlamps that I have at home is the Black Diamond Storm from the 2012 model series and the Gen 3, I believe, Spot itself too. So we're going to compare that real quick. Here is the Spot 325. And as you can see, the profile is really narrow and thin. It lends to its lightweight and svelteness. It has an articulating neck right here. It's made of polycarbonate for the most part. And at the back, you have the breathable, soft, stretchable black diamond strap. And now the cool thing is you can open the battery compartment with your finger. You don't need that little special nub on the back of the strap to pop it open anymore. So that's in a nutshell what this flashlight is and looks like. It's nice and thin and narrow with big, huge buttons at the top here to activate different modes and brightness. Now, I've used this headlamp for about three weeks now, and these are the pluses I've found. The first thing I like about it is you can achieve a good balance of power and battery life. And what I mean is it's customizable in terms of how much you want to use in terms of brightness. You get a good amount of kick in terms of brightness and battery life. And I find a good median is using it at medium brightness and it's still plenty powerful enough. It's not getting that 325 obviously or distance throw, but it is nice and bright still, very workable while you're hiking or you're out camping or in the dark or looking for things down the basement, which is really great. Now, it's also really light. At 86 grams, it is lighter than a pound of monkey feathers. Number three, and this is one of my favorites, even that single night vision bulb is super bright. If you compare this footage with my Storm that has two, and it was considered bright back in the day, even that thing can hold a candle to it. It's like pretty freaking awesome. Now, waterproofing, it is good, and but it is a touchy subject because it is rated at IPX8, which means 30 minutes of submersion at more than one meter which really doesn't give you a good gauge of how deep it can go and it's really up to the manufacturer but in essence this thing can take a good dunking and be totally fine because the battery compartment is sealed away separately from the IC board and that part is protected so even when water gets into the battery compartment it looks like it's pretty protected another thing about this headlamp is the buttons they're very usable with gloves or oven mitts if you do cook in the dark or something and need light but the buttons are huge, very usable. One thing that irks me a lot about older waterproof headlamps was how hard it was to open the battery compartment. You needed like some kind of nub in the back of the strap to pop the clip. But now with this Spot 325, you just use your thumb and pop that sucker open and you're in. It's pretty darn impressive and convenient. A nice thing to have is warranty and this thing has three years, not one year. I wish it was five or unlimited, but three years is pretty healthy and decent. And now we've come to the minuses. This is one of my favorite parts. And there's only a few, in it, but I thought it'd be worth mentioning. The first one, and if you're an eyeglass wearer of any kind or a goggle wearer of any kind, you appreciate where lenses are protected in some form or another. And with this headlamp, because it's made of polycarbonate, I don't know why the, the lens is flush with the body. It needs to have a hood of some kind to keep it from being scratched against the rocks and things like that from handling when you throw it in your rucksack or a backpack or anything. 
I wish it wouldn't scratch. If you look at some of my older headlamps, they have scratches everywhere and it does affect the beam pattern. Another thing I don't like about this device is the power tap function. I find it unreliable. If you're not sure what that power tap function is, it's basically a capacitive button on the side of the case that you can cycle between maximum brightness and the brightness you've set previously. So it's a nice way to just punch up maximum brightness and go back to your default setting or your preferred setting. But because it is capacitive, it works half of the time, especially if you have gloves on or something like that. But even without it, it's just not consistent. I wish they had a physical button. So Black Diamond, figure that one out, please. One more thing that would have made this thing perfect would be the maximum tilting angle. It could have used another one or two more D-dents to make it perfect, especially if you're camping and cooking. And I don't have to crane my neck down if the beam is just always pointed at the pans at the stove, it'd be perfect. But right now as it is, if you're a person with double chins or something it'd be really hard you have to crane your neck down and you know really scrunch up to get the light on the dark spot on your stove so for those kind of things it's really hard so a couple more d-dents would be great fix this black diamond well there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed making it and if you're wondering still why i'm relegated to the bedroom today is because my mom-in-law is here and she's making herself really comfortable in the house so if you'd like to see more videos like this, remember to click subscribe down below to show your support and help me grow this channel. It would be super helpful and I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. In the meantime, if you can, remember to thumbs up if you like this video. Yes, thumbs up, it's important. And thumbs down, just as important. Thumbs down. Thumbs down if for Thanksgiving you're having tofurkey. Yes, tofurkey. What the heck is that? That's just disgusting. Go out there and find something more flavorful to eat than soy. It's just, it's just not right. Unless, I guess, I've never had tofurkey with gravy before. Is that even good? And what do you make the gravy out of? It's not turkey fat. So what do you use anyway? Anyways, you know, let me know what it is. If it's that delicious, let me know. But as it is, I find that weird. <laughs> Anyways... Have a good Thanksgiving, guys. That's all I got. Remember to pay it forward. Do something nice. Show some love in the world because that's what we're here for to help each other out. But in the meantime, stay cool, stay warm, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.